Hi, this is a follow-up exercise to my earlier video where I showed you how we went about solving equations like this where the x term was negative. And if you want to see that tutorial and haven't done so already, you should find that there's a link here that will take you to it. Or, better still, go on my website and you'll find the tutorial video above this exercise here. So I'll give you a moment just to uh, write these down, pause the video, come back when ready and uh, I'll run through the work solutions with you. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So with number one, we want to get rid of this minus 9x. We want to make it a positive term. So it's on the left hand side of the equation at the moment so we just need to copy that equation down and we're going to add 9x then to both sides of the equation. You don't have to write this red stuff that I'm doing at the moment you could just simply add that 9x to both sides and go straight to this line which would be 7 equals 4 plus 9x okay next I've got my positive x term I now need to get rid of this constant so we remove the 4 by subtracting 4 from both sides so what we therefore have is 7 equals 4 plus 9x and again we take 4 now from both sides of the equation that line could be missed out and go straight to this one where we take 4 from both sides and we get 7 take 4 which is 3 and realizing that 4 take away 4 gives us 0 we're just left with 9x we need to get rid of the 9 now and to do that we divide both sides of the equation by 9. So we we'll copy this down again but it's a step that you could avoid writing where we divide both sides by 9. This cancels out leaving me with just simply x and therefore I have x equals 3 ninths. 3 ninths or better still we can reduce that to x equaling 1 third. Remember we can cancel 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 9 goes 3 times leaving us with 1 third. Now I've left a bit of space here because this is not the only way that we could do this equation as I pointed out in the previous tutorial. What we could do is not remove the minus 9x, not to add 9x to both sides, but to remove the 7. If we did, we would need to subtract 7. So I'm going to put here or. What we could have done is subtract 7 and that would have left us with minus 9x. So we'd have minus 9x equals and then we'd have 4 minus the 7. 4 minus the 7 would give us minus 3. And at this stage I would need to get rid of the minus 9 so I would need to divide both sides by minus 9. If I do that, we'll just put that under here. Okay, divide by minus 9. What happens is the minus 9's cancel one another out leaving us with just simply x. We've got x over 1 which is x and we've now got minus 3 divided by minus 9 which is a plus value and it's going to be plus 3 ninths. And as I showed you here 3 ninths reduces down to 1 third. So that's the alternative way okay. Now in number 2 we've got 6 equals 26 minus 11x. With this example I chose this just to put my negative x term on the right hand side of the equation. So with this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 11x to both sides and I won't put in all of the stages. I'm just going to go ahead and add 11x to both sides. So what we've got here is 6 plus 11x then equals 
and then we've got 26, purely because minus 11x plus 11x would go to 0. Now I need to get rid of this constant term, the 6 from both sides. So the only way I'm going to get rid of this is to subtract 6 from both sides. So I'm going to have 6 minus 6, which is 0, just leaving me with 11x. But remember, I need to subtract 6 from this side. So 26 minus 6 is going to leave me with 20. Now the next thing we need to do is to get rid of this 11 on the x term. And the only way we can do that is to divide both sides by 11. So we've got 11x over 11, which is going to be x. And then we've got 20 divided by 11. 20 11s. So with this one, we can get an exact answer by dividing 11 into 20. It goes once, and then what we've got is 9 left over, 9 11. So we end up with x equaling exactly 1 and 9 11. Okay, so hope you're able to get those correct. If not, hope you've been able to see where you've gone wrong. Now in my next video in this series, what we'll be looking at is equations where we have more than one x term. You'll notice in these equations we've got two constants and just the one x term. So that's where we're going next, all right?